hello everyone my name is arohi and welcome to my channel so guys in my today's video i'll show you how you can develop a chatbot using a lang graph in this video first i'll show you how you can use the tools then i'll explain you how to create your own tools after that how to use multiple tools together in agent and then using that agent uh, we will create a chatbot so let's start so for my today's tutorial i'm using a collab notebook and for that you will first go to edit notebook settings and then select the gpu from here and then click on save after that we will import all the required modules which are needed to run our today's code now let's run it so we are installing langchain langchain community and langgraph because we are developing a chatbot using langgraph and langgraph is built on langchain only so that's why we are installing these modules after that i am installing this langchain underscore open ai because the llm which we are going to use is gpt and gpt is a llm by open ai so that's why we are installing the open ai module so guys here you can work with some other llms also the only thing which you need to take care is whatever llm you are using just make sure if there is any related package to that llm then you need to install that package so for example if you want to use google's uh, gemini model then there is a separate module for it and you will install that module first then you can use that gemini llm once the installation done next step is to import all the required packages see uh, first we are importing this ipython.display why we are importing this because in langgraph uh, we uh, can see our workflow in the form of graph and to display the graph to view the graph visually we need this module and after that these are the other modules uh, this state graph and start module why we need this because this will help us to create a state machine uh, which will control the flow of your chatbot and then we are importing this chat open ai this module helps you to load to use the open ai llm and then we are using some other modules right so i'll explain you all these modules when we will use them so let's run it is after that we are creating a state so what is state state is a memory where all the messages of users and code will be stored so we are creating a class with the name of state and in this messages we are going to have list of messages from bot and user this add underscore messages simply means this will take care that all the messages are from user and from bot are getting added to this list okay so this is the uh, memory of our chatbot where all the messages are getting stored run it now guys let's uh, write a code for the tool first i'll show you how to use the tool which are already available how to just import them and use them and then i'll show you how to create your own tool so for that i'm showing you this tool so this is a duck duck go search tool this is a web search tool means if you want to search something from the websites then you can use this tool and to use this tool you first need to install this module okay what let's run it let's install this tool first once this tool will be installed after that you can use this tool like this see we are importing this duck duck go search run from here here in this line we are initializing this tool and then we are just calling the tool using this dot invoke and here provide your question which you want to uh, ask to this search tool now when we will run this cell our tool will go to will perform web search and will give us the answer of this question let's run it so this is the answer it gave us you can uh, read this entire text and you will see that we we got the answer over here so our web search tool is working fine now let's see how to create our own tool okay guys before that let's put all this code in one function it will be easy for us to use it later then so this is how you can do that see i've created one function with the name of search underscore duck, duck, go in that function i'm just 
initializing search um, tool and after that i'm calling the search tool that's it and here i have shown you how you can use this function see in result variable i'm calling this function and i'm providing the question to it now when we will run this cell what will happen our search tool will search the websites to get the answer of this question and let's run it and see see it gave us the answer so now our search tool is in which function this function now let's create our own tools so this tools simply means function and this is how you can create a tool this is a very basic function i'm showing you so this is how we create functions in python right so my function name is multiply and we are giving two arguments to it first is a data type is integer and then second argument is b data type is integer and then return a into b so this function will simply multiply the two numbers so functions are tools so when we say tools tool simply means external functionalities which our llm can't perform and we can use tools for that and how we create tools in um, this lang graph uh, tools are simple functions and this is how you can create a tool so this is a basic tool which perform multiplication the same way if you want to create one more tool see now i have another tool the name of the tool is add and this tool perform addition of two numbers so this is how you can create your functions tools now let's see about the llm let's see how we can use the llm so this is my llm we are importing chat open ai from this module and the llm we are using is this gpt 40 mini and here you will provide your open ai api key this key will not work for you so you have to log into your open ai account and from there you can get this open ai uh, api key run this cell our llm is present in llm variable now now let's see if this llm is working so llm dot invoke so i'm writing hello this is the user message we are giving this message to llm and now let's see how llm reply to this llm said hello how can i assist you so our llm is working fine now the next step is this what we are doing we have a list with the name of tools and in that list we are writing the name of all the tools which we have so remember we have these three functions search underscore duck duck go which will perform the web search add and multiply function which we have created here right so in this tools list we have written the name of all the tools and then now what we want is in this line what we are doing this line simply means we are telling the llm which llm our llm is gpt 40 mini we are telling the gpt llm that you can use these tools to answer the user's query so when user will ask a question if llm does not know the answer of that question then llm can pick any of the tool which is present over here to answer the user's question and how we are telling the llm that llm can use these tools with the help of bind tools so you will bind the tools with llm then only your llm will know what all tools are there which this which i can use to perform the functionalities and this is how you do that now let's write a function for chatbot this will be a simple function we will give the user's input to chatbot function and chatbot function will run this llm with tools on it and it will give us the output so function name is chatbot the input to this function is the messages which are there in the state what is state state is a memory where all the previous messages of users and bot uh, lies so this this state will become the input to the llm with tools this llm with tools now this now this llm with tools dot invoke means we are running the llm on the messages and we will get the response let's run this now in, in next cell we will create the state graph we will add the nodes we will add the edges because this is how we work in lang graph right first for every task we will create a node and then we will establish a connection between them 
so for that we are first building a graph builder see state graph so you here we are initializing the state graph and then we are adding a node so how many nodes we are adding here we are adding two nodes first node is for chatbot function and second node will be for tools okay so add node the name of the node is assistant and this node will perform the task of this chatbot this node is calling which function chatbot function this function okay and then we have another node and this is how you add node guys add underscore node so in this state graph first we added assistant node this node will call the chatbot function then in this state graph we are adding another node the name of the node is tools and this node will use all the tools so tools are present in tools list right so we have how many tools we have we have three tools one is web search tool one is add and another one is multiply and to uh, this tool node is already there we pre-built it is a pre-built function we are calling it like this so we have these two nodes now we need to establish the connection between them so to add the connection to make the connection between the nodes we write add underscore edge the so first start node is getting connected with the assistant node means the user input will go to the assistant and this assistant will run the chatbot function this function and in next line see add conditional edges if assistant if our LLM doesn't have the answer then it will use the tools then once it get use the tools the answer of the tools will go to the assistant okay and this is how this node will work okay let me show you this graph first let's run it let me show you the graph so that you can understand uh, this graph properly so let's here let's run it see this kind of graph you will get whatever we have written over here so this kind of graph you'll get so start node user question will go to the assistant if chatbot assistant node this is the assistant node assistant node is running chatbot function if uh, uh, the llm doesn't have the answer then we are using tools once tools performs its task the answer of the tool will go to the chatbot again and then chatbot will show the final answer so this is what we have done over here add conditional edge when we why we are adding this conditional edge because this is a condition if llm doesn't have the answer then we want to use the tools otherwise we, we don't want to use the tools so this is how you create the graph and you add edges and nodes in it and then finally if you want to run it you need to compile it right so we are compiling it by using this dot compile now let's test it react graph so this is our agent dot invoke so we are calling the agent and we are giving this message to it what is the weather in delhi multiply it by 2 and add 5 so here first i'm asking what is the weather in delhi so our chatbot should first use the duckduckgo web search tool to find the weather in delhi then it should use the multiply tool to perform the multiplication then it should use the addition function to perform the addition right so let's run it and see the human message so this is our message okay guys over here you will not see the answer properly so i have executed the same code on my jupyter notebook also so i'm showing you the answer over there see the same question human message means the message which we asked what is the message which we asked this is the message and after that see over here ai message content is blank means llm doesn't have the answer of this question so it performs tool calling it called the tool which tool it called first it called the search duckduckgo tool first and then 
this is the entire function this is the entire task which it performed so here it is difficult to understand so let's clean this response and see the answer in excel see response messages so we have our answer in response messages i'm just using this pretty print and we can see the answer over here see human message this is the question which we asked what is the weather in delhi multiply it by 2 and add 5 so our agent calls the tool which tool it called first search underscore duck duck to it called first and the query to this tool is current weather in delhi because we wanted to know that weather in delhi right then this is the answer of this tool this is the answer which we got using this tool so here you can see the current weather in delhi is 16 degree okay current weather is 16 so what is the next part of the question what is the weather in delhi this we know now 16 degree now the next part is multiply it by 2 and add 5 now we want to multiply 2 with this 16 so for that next function is getting called the function name is multiply and a and b this is the first parameter this is the second this is the first argument second argument first argument is 16 16 is the temperature of delhi and we want to multiply it by 2 then this is the next function add 16 is the first argument 5 is the second argument we want to add 5 in this 16 so when multiply function got executed we got this output 16 into 2 32 when add function is called we got this output 16 plus 5 is 21 so this is the final answer which we got the current temperature of delhi is 16 degree when we multiplied it by 2 it becomes 32 when we added 5 in it the temperature becomes 21 so this is the final answer so the final answer this answer is getting generated by llm but this 32 21 and 16 degree we got these values using different tools because this is how you can use uh, to multiple tools agent and uh, llm to develop your own chatbot using lang graph so the link of this code is given in description section you can get this code from there and i hope this video is helpful and guys if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching